the 2021 final of the Wolf 777 News Lanka Premier League. Gold Gladiators and Jaffna Klings will play for the glory of lifting this prestigious title. Earlier, if you missed it at the toss, Jaffna Kings called right and elected to bat first. First time they're doing it against this opposition this season. And these are the two teams. First, Jaffna Kings going unchanged from their last game. And for the Gladiators, they make two changes. Dananjaya Lakshan and Ben Dunk comes into the side at the expense of Anwar Ali and Sahan Arachige. Let's play. Going on with the angle, no swing from that first delivery. Sweetly timed, should go for four. What an opening shot from Abishka Fernando, just continues from where he left off in the last innings. Cut away. Blunder in the field allows a boundary, the second in the over. Edged wide of the man at slip. Goes flying into the boundary line. Runs flowing already. Up and away. That sounded sweet. And it goes all the way for six. First one of the innings. In this format, you really have to bring that surprise element for the opposition. We saw them pitching the ball up in the previous game against the same opposition. They were required to address their strategy. Up and away. This guy is pure class. Ramanullah Gurbaz continues with the aggression. Up and away again, even better strike from Gurbaz. And that's what he likes to do. Take on the ballers from the word go. And this time line, the line was changed by the baller. Length was changed. But result for the batter, even two runs more. Straight. And six. Gurbaz. Yeah, front leg out of the way. Holds his shape. Edge. Agonizingly wide of the wicket keep out. Stretch hand. Couldn't hold on. Chipped away. It has enough to go for four. This, though, might be the end of him. Yeah, well taken. Good low catch there in the deep. Sameh Patel goes wild. Gurbaz just couldn't get to it. That's what happened, but he, but he went with the shot. Didn't check it. Gusal Mendes judged it well. Oh, goodness. Took it so low, took it very low, but doesn't matter. He's held on to it. So, the first wicket's gone. It's a big wicket. Samit Patel absolutely delighted. Gurbaz goes for a quick fire 35, 56 for one. Sweeps and beats the man at short fine leg. Avishka Fernando now taking over. Oh, this is a misfield. It's gone through. There's the big shot, there's TKC, there's a six. That's his favourite area. And look at the head position. He's not following the flight of the ball. That was out of here. Big one. Up and over with the sweep, <laughs> behind square, all the way. Six for Avisca Fernando. Watching the ball very closely, not trying to keep it anything down the ground, but just was thinking about the six. 
And here you go again. Lock sweep and a familiar result. Another six. I mean, this is his second six. Well, that's his 50. What a fine innings. He's been in outstanding form. Following up on 100, he's battered brilliantly. Edged four runs. Yeah, he's been good. And he's been making it very easy. Some gifts. That time for Mr. Udana, a friendly full toss with no extra cover. Avishka Fernando. This time, finds the fieldsman on the boundary. Luan Tushara gets the wicket. Vishka Fernando. Bowling few dot deliveries. Doing the trick for the fast bowler to Shara. Netted a big fish. Scored 63, 119 for two. is Tom Kola Catmo. Sweet sound of leather on the low. Yeah, all you could do was admire that shot, even if you're an opponent. Got the elevation, got the distance. Yes! But he has contributed now. He's beaten mid-off. Marla deep in his crease and swings away into the leg side. A maximum. Yeah, right in the middle of the bat. Very important six for the Jaffna Kings. 50 for Tom Kola Cadmore. One, four and three sixes today, but he's been really measured and has played a, a crucial innings for his side on the big stage in the final. Slower ball, flicked high by Tom Cole Catmore. No distance, though. And it's dropped. This one went a long way up, Russell. Yeah, he charged in, but then when he looked like he was underneath it, seemed to have uh, lost it a wee bit and never looked like taking it. He's bowled really well. He deserved a lot more than one to Shara today. Shot, show it, Malik, inside out. Cannot give that length. And show it, Malik, too good of a player. Going to miss off that. This is what you're talking about. When wheels come off from a team, it comes off pretty badly. He's connected again, but he's picked out the man on the cover boundary. That went hard and flat. that off the middle of the bat, reaching out, Shoaib Malik. There would have been a lot of damage if he'd missed that. But he takes a good one, Amir strikes, Amir picks up a wicket. Shoaib Malik's done some damage, 23 off Levin, it's 181 for three. To reach that one, Tisra, one-handed. He's hit a four. Great effort. And he goes dead straight and long. That's Tissera Pereira at his best. On the middle of the bat. That's massive. Short and whacked for another six. This time. Oh my God. Anything in their arc, in that length, keeping that pace, not trying to hit too hard with the power, but this is the process that's going massive. Oh, well, Paul Lakshan. 
They will scamper through for a bye, though. So he's finished well. The first three deliveries went for 16, and you feared the worst, but the last three going for just three. So the Jaffna Kings still have a formidable total. 201 for three in a final. That is big runs on the board. So 201 is a very, very big score, but Gaul have beaten Jaffna three times in a row this season, and the last time they played, their openers, Kusal Mendes and Danushka Gunatilika, put on 121. He's got a square leg out on the boundary, mid picket out on the boundary, and here is the first ball. And straight away runs for Kusal Mendes. We spoke about how good the surface is. That is an indication. Just coming onto the bat quite nicely and pushing it through the line. Oh, Gunatilaka, has it gone far? Yes, I think just over the line. Very nearly had his man, but just over the line. Good effort, but just over the line. Pumped for Kusal Mendes. Goes over cover. That's a boundary. Short ball. Where has that gone? One bounce for four. Clock swept. Four more runs. Again. Took the Indian route. Cleared everything. Goal gladiators are meaning business. Talk about keeping a shape. Watching the ball till closely. And the youngster watching. That's how we do it. Nice take, Shana. Be the first time in this LPL put under pressure. Again, another one. Well, he's the most economical bowler, Tikshana. And Gunatal Telake making a statement. Over cover, over short third man. Gunatal on strike. Goes over mid off. On the up. It is the power play, don't forget. So plenty of open spaces. Again, another boundary. It's raining force here. It's raining force. Oh no, oh no. Very lucky. Very lucky for Gold Gladiators. Gonatalke survived and got to his 50. Well, 59 without loss. Gunatilaka is 50, not out. Four overs completed. First ball, in the air. And a good result once again. Again, Apesh yeah. taken. Wicket taken. Danushka Gunatilaka goes. Gave himself room. Slower again. Excellent catch by Tishar Pereira. Gunatilaka is naturally disappointed. His outstanding innings comes to an end. Gunatilaka goes for 54, just 21 balls. It's 63 for one. Manidu Hasaranga. Oh, gets an edge out for ball, I think. Yes, he is. Two of two. Wasn't needed. He could have afford to play a couple of dot deliveries get the feel of the pitch went after Hasaranga had to pay the price good start being spoiled 63 for two Taken the aerial route into the gap. Oh, that's running away. That's squeezed through. Four runs. They keep flowing. One, 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 one. 
tries to get it into the gap, but good work in the deep. Hafiz wants it. Oh dear, oh dear. Hasaranga reacted well. Roll it forward. Batsman well short of the crease. Uh, I made my decision, my decision for the big screen. Out will be the decision, yes, very unnecessary. Mohamed Hafiz searching for two, which was never on. He goes for 14 from nine, another one down for the Gladiators. It's 84 for three. Oh, gets that through. Four, just a little short. Gets inside it, slaps it. Oh, gone for six. Up and over from Kusal Mendes with a long way across. Just, I think it might have just gone over the hands rather than through the hands of Chaturanga. Great effort from him. That's it, that's it. Has he picked up a wicket though? He has. A big one too, Roger Paxa. Eventually, Dixon has some reward, some success, some joy to celebrate. You can't keep Banidu Hasaranga out. Excellent catch in the deep. Just what the Jaffna Kings needed. Mayas Tekshana is always having an off day. Picked up the important record. Captain of the Gladiators. Go who's gone. The 14 of 16. The Gladiators losing their fourth at 113. Hard oh, slog sweep into the gap. Well placed. Chaturanga to bowl his second hey, hey, over. Go, oh, mix up, mix up. Ah! I think that's gone. That could be massive. Kusal Mendes. Roll it forward, roll it forward, roll it forward. The batsman well short of the crease. I made my decision. My decision for the big spin is up. Direct hits are always dangerous and always tight. Kusal Mendes, well, the man, the gold gladiators were hoping could get them over the line. Run out for 39, 129 for five. That's it, that's it, that's it. Lakshan gets a leading edge chance. Taken. That's a really good catch by Hasaranga over his shoulder, running back. One of the hardest catches to take. Floyd said this is one of the toughest catches that's the angle going away from the left-hander and take a look at this going away from him falling over his shoulder never easy never easy and well that's worth the celebration look at their celebration they're happy they know Dhananjay Lakshan's rather disappointing game comes to an end out for two 133 for six Well them once again Chaturanga de Silva with his left arm spin doing the business for the Kings. That was his second wicket. Ricocheted off the pads. And now if there was any hope, any hope of the doors were slightly ajar, they are shutting for the gladiators it's 143 for seven that's in the air should clear everything that's a positive hit but this is good sky high fielder settles and completes the catch well they're smelling victory the kings what he did over there grabbed the batsman didn't allow the batter to swing his arms freely hence a wicket for Saranga Lakmo his effort 22 runs from 20 deliveries 158 for 8 no vex recover and that will be 4 so a rare victory for Surudana. That's in the air. It should be taken and taken. And it's that man, Shweb Malik. 
tries to dig it out. The wickets continue to fall. The Kings hanging on to everything coming their way. Well, that's the wicket for you for today. It's from Jaden Seals. It's Rudanas, the latest victim for nine. 168 for nine. The last ball of LPL 2021. A good piece of feeling. So there it is, the moment. Once again, the crown jewel of T20 cricket in Sri Lanka going to the Jaffna Kings by virtue of this win. They go on to win by 23 runs. And the cricketing gods have bestowed them with another title. The crowning moment where the Kings prevailed once more in the final proud moment for their fans to the ownership the management the coaching staff and a bunch of well meshed players delivering beyond excellence on the night that mattered the most and this is the mat summary of the Wolf 777 News LPL 2021 final. Jaffna Kings reversing the strategy, so to speak, on the Gladiators, batting first and posting an unassailable total of 201 for three, thanks mainly to the half centuries from Avishka and Kola Kadmo. Goal Gladiators, they looked like they were in it up until the 10th, 11th over, and then they fell apart. The Kings winning by 23 runs. Jeff the Kings, congratulations to them. It's been a great atmosphere all day. The crowd has come in in their droves and they have seen a very impressive performance from the Jaffna Kings. Richly deserve their position as champions. They have been absolutely brilliant this season, Maha. Hurry.